welcome to javainterviewquestions.com today we'll see a tutorial on how to create threads by extending thread class as we have seen in the previous uh, session how to create threads by implementing runnable interface in this session we'll create threads by extending thread class this is one of the way or one of the approach to create a thread by extending thread class to create a thread by extending thread class what we need to do let's see the steps to create thread by extending thread class first our class should extend extend thread class next override run method from thread class and third one is call start method on our thread which will call run method these are the three steps we need to do uh, to create a thread by extending thread class. So let's see with help of an example. New class thread demo. Now I'm writing a main method. Now what I'm doing is first what I need to do what is the first step we need to extend thread class extend extends thread now what we need to do is override run method in our thread demo Now I'm printing sys out. I'm in thread. I'm in run method. So first I'm creating an instance thread demo t equal to new thread demo. Now what I'm doing is I'm calling start method. Now start method will internally call run method. Uh, let's see some points on start method first. So what start method will do? Come into the start method. Whenever we are calling whenever we are calling start on thread what JVM does is it internally calls run method which is the basic point of execution of a thread JVM internally calls run method which is the basic point of execution of thread so start method will internally call run method now let's see the output see if you see the output I am in run method so start will internally call run method and we get the output I am in run method hope you understand this video thanks for watching this video